Now, we've heard a lot this week from people opposed to fracking. Villages in Bolkham in Sussex today began a second week of protest to try to stop exploratory drilling. Key to the fracking company Quadrilla being able to operate are the landowners. And while many across the country have sent them packing, one man in Lancashire hasn't. John Loftus is the only person in Britain to own a site which has actually been fracked for shale gas. For the first time, he's spoken out to explain why to our science editor, Tom Clark. John Loftus is the first and only person in Britain to have had his land fracked for shale gas. To many people's minds, it's a dubious honour. But with gas bearing rocks beneath much of the UK, it could be you or your neighbour who gets a call from a fracking company next. And as far as this man is concerned, it shouldn't be up to us to say whether they drill for gas or not. What made you decide, yep, go ahead, have a look, see if there's gas down there? Um, well, this country's built on its resources over the centuries. I mean, we'd be nowhere without fossil fuels and iron ore and everything that's come out of the land and the food farmers grow on it. I mean, it's the only resource we have. Uh, for me to deny access to that would be totally wrong. The site on his farm looked very different in 2011 when Quadrilla Resources drilled down nearly two miles and started to frack. They only stopped when the process caused a small earthquake. John Loftus says that doesn't concern him, but surely it's easier to accept fracking given the money he's making from leasing this land. It's not a massive amount of money, beets growing potatoes, but it's only like one or two percent of my income. It's not, nothing like J.R. Ewing. <laughs> Just two miles down the road from the initial site is the next location in Lancashire that could get fracked. This site is on land owned by a charity of which John Loftus is a trustee. But don't let that give you the impression that fracking is popular in this part of Lancashire. Mr Loftus says he only engaged with Quadrilla over fracking here because it allowed the community to pick the site and ensure minimum disruption to the village. But that makes no difference to Karen Ditchfield, who lives and works a few hundred yards away. If Quadrilla do frack here in the coming months, which they're planning to do, boreholes could run right under her property. So who the hell's monitoring it properly? You know, they might be there in Whitehall saying this is what's going to happen. If this goes ahead, and you're not only just talking about one company, you're not just talking about a few drilling sites in the file, you're talking about quite a lot. In order to make it profitable, that's what's going to happen, and it'll be appearing on your doorstep. But as John Loftus sees it, there aren't many alternatives to fracked gas. The fact is, you know, we're dependent upon fossil fuel, we're dependent upon gas for our lifestyle in the Western world, and we can't manage without it. The question is, do you mine your own or import somebody else's? With our present balance of payments, I would suggest that we actually mine our own. A fundamental objection of most protesters against fracking is that it's just more fossil fuels in a world that needs alternatives. But until leaders can agree on how to build such an energy system, companies like Quadrilla, with the government's full support, are looking for people like Mr Loftus up and down the UK. Tom Clark, Channel 4 News in Lancashire.